should do if you wanna run your own thing, but you're short on dollars. So I did some research and it may surprise you how many things you can make money on without you having to spend money. What I call high ROI, low cash businesses. We are looking for a very particular type of business. One that cash flows to us, AKA high ROI, but we don't have to spend a bunch of money up front. We'll talk about the seven businesses to start with less than a thousand, what the real return and time expectations are. Now we've got microgreens. This is a weird business, but I kind of love it. And we're basing it off of Jonah's business, this guy. He started with less than $700 exactly and started cash flowing with microgreens, aka gardening. I mean, that's what us millennials are into. Anyway, he basically tried a bunch of different things. He tried basil, tried kale, tried lettuce, and then realized that growing microgreens is where the most cash was. Why? They're one of the most profitable crop varieties and one of the easiest to grow. The numbers back that up. So Jonah now made 60K within his first year. Not bad for starting with less than $1,000. Let's break down how he did it and how you could do it too. You need a six foot plant rack. For every six foot plant rack you have, you're gonna make about $2,000. In the beginning, your margins are gonna be high, like 85% because you're gonna be doing everything. So for every plant rack you have, you'll keep about $1,700 in profit, which means you need five or six of these to get to that 10K number. That's probably about the size of a square bedroom, maybe half of a square bedroom. You could put all of these plant racks in there. If you get to big scale, like past that couple hundred thousand dollars in revenue, your margins are gonna drop. You're gonna be like Jonah, where he made 700K in 2021 with about 40% margins. The cool thing about this business though, is you can start small and scale really easily. Let's break down exactly how I would start this business. Here's Jonah's playbook. Step one, find your space, grab your equipment. We talked about the six foot indoor space to get started. Window light, not required because of those pink lights. Offices, spare bedrooms, cupboard under the stairs. You could have a few different varietals. Step two, you gotta buy your seeds. Basically, very standard. Seeds, dirt, light, and the infrastructure to build it. It takes about three weeks for you to get your first seeds started. If a green thumb just isn't your best quality, you can leverage a software called Vertigro, which will create a daily checklist for you to manage your, your plant rotation and watering schedules. That's what I'd do. Step three, finding your customers. When you're first starting out, you're most likely going to operate direct to consumer. I would use something like Facebook Marketplace, this is what he does, or going to a farmer's market, which a lot of people do. In fact, that's how my friend Kat started her business, Mush, that led to a $50 million business. Then I would wanna create a subscription model and schedule deliveries continuously to keep that profit growing. I love this business because it's non-traditional. It's not an internet business. It's not a boring business. It's for those of you out there that wanna do something with a green thumb, make some income, play with plants, uh, but also not spend a ton of money. Let's see if it hits our three things. High ROI. Well, yeah, Jonah's doing 700K a year with this business. And we've sort of calculated you can get to 10K having five of these six foot racks. Step two, low cash down. Those racks and the seeds all cost you less than $1,000 to start. I think if you wanna scale up to 120K a year, you're going to have to spend a couple thousand dollars in seeds, et cetera, but you're not gonna do it all at once. You'll do it over the course of three to six months. And step three, how long until your investment returns? Well, the seeds take 30 days. So within 30 days, you can sell your first crop. I would actually do pre-orders if I could, selling to friends, family, farmers markets. So I would try to get my cash up front, which means we are well within the six month window. That's microgreens.